And I never get upset. I'm always like, I'm always like a pretty pleasant person. You know, always have like a kind of a pleasant, you know, like a 60% smile. I learned that from Beyonce. <laughs> Sorry, an interview. Like I always like, if you don't know me, you saw me walking down the street, you don't, you'd be like, oh man, I can ask this dude for directions. I always have, this, this is how I look most of the time. You ready? Here we go. It's not a smile, but it's not a frown. You know, it's like, it's, it's just in between. Like, if you need, like, where's the, where's the T-Mobile store? Because you can't just smile all the way. You look crazy as fuck if you do that. You just can't be, like, walking down the street. If you don't have on headphones or walking next to somebody, you'd be like, oh, we need to cross the street. You he crazy. Nobody just smiles like that for no reason. But I do get into, I mean, I do get into it. Like, I, I try not to, and I never really get upset. Some stuff you just can't control, why get upset about it? If I, it's already happened, why be mad? You can be mad, because what you gonna do, put it on somebody else? Nah, just let it go. I never get upset. But then when I do, whew, I go in. Like I, like, I just, like I said, I don't like people too close to me. I was, I was heading from LA to New York, LAX to JFK. And uh, I walk in the airport, and some dudes, like, I mean, like, just for every, every second, in the airport, ticketing security to the plane. We were on the same flight. And this dude walked up, like, every, every time. He... <laughs> I mean, like four, like, four times until, like, we were, like, we were on the little, you know, little bridge to take you, like, actually on the plane. And this dude was so close to me. He was so close. He was so, and culturally, like he, he, was, he was, I don't know what he was. I don't know what he was either, okay? Culturally, it's probably okay where he's from, but I'm like, and I respect it if we were there, but we're not. <laughs> but this dude, like, he was so close to me. Like, if I'd have a backpack on, if I'd have my backpack on, his chest would have touched my shoulder blades. <laughs> we were sharing a breathing cycle. We were doing Lamaze together. That's how I felt. <laughs> He was so close. I got, I, I was like, I was like, I'm, I, you know, I need to say something. I need to say something that's like, that's real, but also funny. So he knows I'm joking, but also back the fuck up. <laughs> and I just, I, I, I just casually go, hey man, um, I hope you wearing a condom. He did not get it. <laughs> Cause he just leaned in, he just leaned in and he was like, what would you, would you? And I just felt all, all the, I was like. <laughs> and then I just fucking went off. I couldn't help, I go, I said, I hope you're wearing a condom. Cause you definitely trying to be inside of me right now. <laughs> so let's protect ourselves if that's what we doing, okay? But of course they didn't hear him. The flight attendant only heard me. So now I'm the angry black dude in the black sweatsuit. <laughs> Sir, could you calm down? No, I can't calm down. You don't see this dude trying to fuck me before this flight. <laughs> I'm not with him, okay? We not together. This dude's trying to spoon standing up. He's trying to share a belt. I don't do that shit. <laughs> and the whole flight, I was mad. You know, you get mad, you just like tight the whole time. I was just mad, I was tight. I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. Finally get out of the flight, grab my backpack. I checked one of my bags. So I had a little, you know, 15, 20 minutes, but I was still nervous. So like, as soon as I got the flight, put my backpack on, I just did a spin to make sure he wasn't still. 